Five Unusual People in the World, Part 119. Hello everyone, I'm Keisha, and have a great day. Although science and technology are increasingly advanced and people's lives have been improved a lot, there are still lives that literally startle others when looking at them. There is no need to go to remote areas, but even in developed countries, we can already meet these cases. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 5. Pranshu Pranshu from Jalandar, Punjab, has suffered from a strange disease since a young age that made his face unusual. With a large, protruding forehead and deep narrow eyes, this disease also makes it difficult for Pranshu to walk. But it is also these anomalies that make his life different from any other child. The villagers there believe that he is the embodiment of the god and call him the god Ganesha. Every Thursday, Pranshu will conduct a ceremony to bless the devotees. The number of people coming is so large that his house can't accommodate. He often sits outside for the devotees to come to worship. Not only does the villagers believe that Pranshu is an incarnation of a god, but his father also believes that and often bows to Pranshu like the rest. The people there believe that Pranshu will give blessings, making their dreams come true. Although he has a different life from normal children, Pranshu still goes to school every day and people throw flowers when they meet him like welcoming a god. According to villagers, since birth, Pranshu has had the same features as Ganesha, with the big head growing day by day. However, Pranshu said he is completely satisfied with his life now and he is happy to be worshipped and is not afraid of being bullied. Pranshu feels very happy with the face he has. Doctors believe that the cause of Pranshu's ring appearance is due to the effects of environmental pollution and there has been no cure yet. This makes people believe that Pranshu is divine. Many people always complain about how rough their skin is, while some have really beautiful skin. When you have only a little bit of roughness, they have rough spots like dry tree trunks. Number 4. The Tiva The Tiva, 23 years old, is slowly turning into a tree when her whole body starts to harden and she has no idea how it all started or why. I feel sorry for this person who cannot afford to go to the doctor. Hope that God will always protect her. It all started when she was 15 years old. She was just like everyone else. During one session, she felt pain in her knee, but at that time, she thought it was normal and the pain wouldn't last long. But then, something bad happened. Her legs couldn't walk anymore. When its covering shrank signs on her daughter's skin, her mother immediately took her to the hospital. There, doctors examined her and concluded that they didn't find any shrink signs. The test results also showed that she was completely normal. But they also advised her to go to a better hospital because they couldn't tell what was going on. At other hospitals in the area, her disease remains unidentified. The Tiva was brought home. A few weeks later, the situation got worse. Her body began to harden, her skin stiffened, and cracks appeared like tree trunks. She was immediately taken to the city hospital, but there, doctors couldn't do anything in six months. Surely, she needs to be taken to major hospitals in the world. Facial deformities are the worst thing that can damage one's soul. A man suffered mentally for 11 years before God gave him good surgeons. Number 3. Roger Roger, born in 1961 from San Antonio, Texas, USA, has a face that quickly shocks those who see him. A giant tumor grew in the middle of the face. These giant tumors not only ruined his face, but it also made Roger unable to breathe. Roger was always laughed at when going out. This made him low self-esteem and didn't dare to go out, even had to quit his job. Roger revealed that the pimple started growing on his nose 11 years ago, but they soon grew into giant tumors that covered the face and dropped below the chin. Roger had wanted to have these tumors removed for a long time, but the hospital fees were expensive, and he had no insurance, so he agreed to live with it for 11 years. After learning about the Dr. Pimple Popper program, 
Roger was determined to sign up to try his luck, and was agreed by Doctor Ryan Osborne to have free surgery through a charity fund. Doctors themselves at the Doctor Pimple Popper program also felt extremely awkward when accepting the invitation. They believed that the risk during the surgery was very high, and Roger's life was also in danger, as cutting the tumor would also lose a lot of blood. Although there were many contradictory opinions from the doctors, they couldn't bear seeing this man living and suffering with a giant tumor on his nose. Fortunately, after a period of treatment and research, the doctors at the program successfully removed the tumor and restored Roger's confidence. Next, we will meet a man with a shrink face, who, if born at this time, may be helped by advanced medical to have a more pleasing face. Number two, Joseph Carey Merrick. Joseph Carey Merrick was born in 1862 in England. He was known as the Elephant Man because of his birth defects. His life was a series of painful days leading up to his death. And Joseph's life story has inspired several books, an award-winning play, and a film starring John Hurt. His deformity was considered a rarity in medicine at the time. So far, the cause of the deformity hasn't been definitively established, but some believe that he suffered from the genetic disorder Proteus. Merrick's skeleton was carefully preserved at the Royal London Hospital after his death in 1890. However, His final resting place has remained a mystery to mankind for more than a century. Vigor Mungovin, who once wrote a biography of Joseph Carey Merrick's life, said that in addition to the preserved skeleton, his soft tissue was buried. But because there were no relatives, so far it has not been found. His brother also revealed that she is trying to track down the remaining evidence to find the exact burial place of the remains. Vicar Mungovin consulted records and cemeteries around the time of his death, and eventually discovered he was interred in the city of London Cemetery near Epping Wood. Burial records are dated April 24, 1890, less than two weeks after Merrick's death at 27 on April 11 from asphyxiation due to the weight of his head. I remember someone once saying that the only way to be ugly is to have an ugly soul. I believe it to be true. Although this poor girl doesn't have a pretty face, she has been loved and supported by many people. Number one, Wu Xiaoyan. Wu Xiaoyan has severe fibrous dysplasia. When she was just 22 years old, this Chinese girl had a benign tumor occupying 75% of her face, stretching her skin to the point that the shape of her nose could no longer be seen. Her eyes bulge out. And the locals started calling her Frog Girl. This tumor also made her unable to breathe through her nose and completely lost her sense of smell. Wu is not only known for her unusual looks, but she is also an example to many people, as she never complains about her disease and stays strong. According to doctors, this poor girl has fibrous dysplasia, a chronic, benign, non-hereditary bone disease in which healthy bone tissue is replaced by fibrous tissue. As the bone grows, the soft fibrous tissue spreads, making bones weaker, more deformed, and more prone to fracture. Wu's face didn't stop growing until she was 20 years old. The tumor made her skin stretch and almost transparent, accompanied by pain that tormented her even while sleeping. She is a really strong person, her father said. She doesn't go out of the house so as not to scare others. If she has to go. She covers her face with a veil and asks me to come along. The condition is not hereditary, and there is no known cure for it. Wu became most famous in 2010 when her family begged for $30,000 in donations for facial surgery. After years of fighting, they got the value, and after 20 hours of surgery, she removed the tumor. She had a face that was closer to a normal state. Those are the really weird-looking people I found today. Hope it makes you happy and will keep supporting me in other videos. God will always protect them. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.